On to race number two then, the second race uh, on the program. And race number two is a class four. We get up to the 16.50 here. We can start with a horse dropping into this class for the first time. That's God of Dragon. Starlet Knight ran up on his final start last season, first up here. Xian Jan Rocks drops into class four for the first time as well. Nitro Express gets the blinkers on for the first time at the age of eight uh, here in Hong Kong. Flame Lily, Joe Moreira from Barrier Four. Looks like he might roll forward. Speedy Wally ran up behind Green Dispatch last time out. Dionysus Colin third behind Simple Elegant and down to Solar Billion and Ben So get a low gate as well. Barrier two for him, but he's been going back. Golden Turbo and Flame Lily are the horses that have been up at Chungfa within the last 30 days, Brett. Again, on paper, probably good to slow. Uh, Starlit Knight is a horse that of, of note that's gone forward. So is Winning Controller in the past a number of times. And Flame Lily obviously has been handy in a lot of his starts towards the end of, uh, of last season. But we've also heard from Paul, I'd be interested to get his thoughts this time, that he probably doesn't think he's a natural leader. So how this unfolds is a little bit sketchy as well. Whether or not one or two from the back want to make their presence felt early. Sources have uh, been very keen in the morning, God of Dragon. He's been downgraded into Class uh, 4 here, and uh, he's now with Tony Cruz. He did sort of find a bit of form at the back end of the season. You can see he wants to get on with it, though. He's pretty keen. Here's our Wally, Speedy Wally. He's a five-time winner in this grade, so he's the one that's won the most races for these Class 4 runners, and he's under a good hold. He's run two good races, so he'd be pretty fit going to his uh, assignment. And Strathbury has beaten one horse home in his three starts. Uh, last, second, last, last. Uh, but his work in the mornings hasn't been too bad, so a bit of a conundrum to see if he can improve. OK, all right, we're going to start off here with uh, God of Dragon. He's a class drop. He's also first up for the season um, as well. Down in trip as well, his uh, last start over the 2200 behind Salto Olimpico, who returned on the weekend, but uh, what of him first up Well, there? I mean, we're, I think a lot of us were tipping him in the meeting that we lost, and obviously now his start to the season's been delayed, and I'm not quite sure whether I'm as confident as I was first up. I've definitely got him in the selections, but I think there might be one or two others that'll be better suited to the distance. He probably wants a bit further. Yeah, I think he can run... A, it's interesting they are running him fresh over 1650, isn't it? Because he does look like a bit of a star there. So mm. I'm going to give him a chance. I think he can get... He can, from Barrier 9, I wouldn't be surprised if they were, were positive with him. So we'll see how he ends up. OK, uh, let's move on to Flame Lily. He'll certainly be pretty short as far as the market is concerned. Uh, I thought a pretty strong trial coming into him. And look, he didn't lead in this trial, did he? He sort of stayed back. We had him on the speed map leading. And I've always said that. I didn't think this... And I was just re re reiterated it, that the mm. horse is not a natural leader. Uh, and I think some of his better runs is when he's come from behind. So it be interesting to see the tactics from Barrier 4. The, you know, the, tempt the temptation will be to be positive with him from a low draw of Joe on it. Well, Joe was aboard in this trial, yeah. as you say. So, yeah, Barrier 4, they won't want to give it away. But at the same time, maybe some cover might be... A better scenario for him in the end. All right. Well, that was a strong trial. I thought it was a strong trial as well from uh, Xianjiang Rocks uh, recently. Flying Tiger Hero involved in this one too. Yeah, Flying Tiger Hero, obviously having his second start for the Douglas White Stable. He hasn't done a great deal so far from ten outings, so he does need to improve. But Xianjian Rocks getting the drop in grade. He was knocking on the door a couple of times last season. Would like a strong tempo here, I think, Paul. Yeah, definitely. And he's by Big Bad Bob, and we've seen those. Horses sort of over the longer distances, uh, Zanjiang Rocks. And has caught the eye finishing off races quite strongly last season. Yeah. The dropping yeah. class is a big plus. Yeah. yeah, here at Happy Valley as well. And it yeah. uh, looks like, well, he's certainly our favourite um, at this stage. Where do you see going, Paul? Yeah, I've got him in there for a second. I just thought there might be a bit more value around the Guide of Dragon to run a nice race fresh over the 1650. I like the fact that he's been placed in Class 3 and he's down, now down into Class 4. Zanjiang Rocks, as I mentioned, has caught the eye in some races. Flame Lily, interesting to see what they do do with him, uh, tactics-wise. And Denisis Collin in there for fourth. He's been running some pretty good races. Has been sweating up a bit at Chartern. It'll be interesting to see how he cops the valley on uh, Wednesday night. So one, three, eight, eleven. Same four numbers, uh, slightly different order for me. In race number two, I ended up with Flame Lily as the on-top selection from Zanjian Rocks. I just think Marrera might turn in front of Zach. Um, an eight can beat three, maybe three can get over the top of the eight, but I thought they'd be the Q horses. God of Dragon probably gives them both a start, unless they get roll forward, like Paul suggested. And Dionysus Colin, yeah, Paul's made a good case for him, but um, same four numbers, slightly different order. Very similar. I'd narrowed it down. I thought it was Flame Lily and Xian Jam Rocks. I went with Xian Jam Rocks, but I've included Speedy Wally as well. well yeah. God of Dragon, he's got he the... He did run well first, Wally. Fitness, 
fit, fitness edge on his side as well. It was a good run from him last time out. All right, that's uh, race number two. The feature race comes up as race number seven on the programme. We're back with a third, though, in a moment. 1,200 metre, class four. <laughs> 